Hello, it's me. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Do you really want to know and grow? Given names and family peer labels can cause us to carry around false internal fables. Allow me to paraphrase Shakespeare. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Helen, would were not Helen called, retain that dear perfection which she owes. Helen, doff thy name, before that name which is no part of thee. While I may be presenting this talk like a Shakespearean narrated story, I do promise to never get gory. Perhaps better compared to a book by Seuss, but I'm not a doctor. I may have an excuse. Allow me to tell you the tale of a trail I took while finding myself. I know what you're going to say. We didn't know you were lost. Ha ha. <laughs> On 2-21-59, the name Helen was given as mine. A name like no other, at least not common in my generation. Being kid six of seven, named after my mother. An adult child, good Catholic girl was I. Never to be called hell, but holy or heck, no lie. Around the streets and homes of Steelton and Anhot did I roam, to get away from that sometimes scary home. Graduating from art school during a recession, oh no, State government work would soon become my profession. No offense. I would be told, told yarns of go to Helen Wait or Helen a handbasket. With a strong, reliable name like Helen, hey, I could handle it. I found myself merely existing, not truly living, using food and lack of focus to get through each day with the hopes of no ruckus. Would it be an angel coming to my aid to guide me to the phone one day to say, hello, crisis counseling? I no longer choose to go through it alone. Gratitude to those who would help me feel, heal, and work it through. I then became Healing Helen. Who knew? A good church I did find with a minister who was kind, who one day allowed me to get up and speak my mind. Was a fellow church member slash Toastmaster, Edwards Holiday, I do not jest, who gave me my first nickname, Happen and Helen. I thought it was the best. You see, unlike the names of Catherine and Deborah, there were no Hellies, like Kathy or Debbie. Oh, let me tell you. The Church Adventure Club even more did help me to grow, with names like Helen Hawk and Helen Highflyer to be taken and given as my own. Thrilled with my fun nicknames, I moved forward more. Not only could I speak, but act and sing in church plays, no lore. With acting, speaking, and singing, bringing me more healing, Healthy Helen is the name that would soon be ringing. Moving from church plays, choirs, coffee houses, and rapping, a local stage theater, Hollywood Helen would soon be appearing. Healthy Healing Helen would learn how to release control. When a friend suggested ballroom dancing, thanks to Vicki, was I on a roll? Trust me, two people cannot lead a dance. That's the ultimate in stagnation. Someone has to release and let go. Discovering laughter therapy. <laughs> <laughs> the title Ha Ha Helen was taken with glee. Perhaps by presenting this talk a bit laughingly, I've allowed you to absorb it more readily. I could have opted to stand here and talk and bawl and oh my goodness, it would feel oh, it was terrible. <coughs> Instead, I chose to present with a guffaw. But um, boom. By now you may be wondering when this talk will come to a close. But hold on to your seat and head and clown nose. Here it goes. I am. 
holy, heck, healing, happening, healthy, Hollywood, holometabolic Helen. It's magic, you see. Holometabolic perfectly describes me. Now there's a word for the day. As I come to the close of my talk for now, allow me to take my Shakespearean bow. Thank you for watching.